Sugarbytes Thesis. I like it. I got this recently. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to get up and running and give you a quick uh, view on what I reckon of it. I think it's great. Uh, I'll show you a few things to do. Uh, you can get yourself a demo version from fully functional demo versions from the Sugarbytes uh, website. And I'm going to be using Reaper. You can get a demo of that as well, fully functional. If you don't have a, you need a host. So, uh, yeah, we'll get you up and running. I'll review it. I love it. Now, remember, it's this is a MIDI triggering uh, virtual uh, controller. So it's um, uh, basically you can't perform things on the keyboard that this thing can do, but it, it, it triggers things. So it, you get some really inspiring sounds out of this thing. Okay, we're in Reaper now. And we'll open up a new instrument track and click on Thesis. And that'll open up there. And the first thing we'll do is turn off the um, the internal synthesizer that comes with uh, Thesis because we'll route to our own. Uh, at this point here, we could add our own synthesizer here in the same instrument track. Uh, but we're going to create a new track and route to it because we might want to route um, to a number of different instruments. So we'll create a new track here, FM8 I'm using. And um, we just click on the input output settings and uh, select FM8 or the track that we've just created with the virtual synth. And now uh, Thesis is set up to uh, route uh, directly to our synthesizer. Uh, now what we can do is um, uh, I'll just uh, select some sounds here. Uh, and that'll do. Um, you just muck around and figure out what you like. Um, then turn on the uh, internal play button there and that'll start bringing up some sounds. Now that we have uh, some sounds happening, let's go through the interface a bit. Uh, I was using just then a, um, a preset uh, sequencer that comes with the thesis. Um, but when you start, it'll uh, when you use it for the first time, it'll be default, which was a blank canvas with no sounds, uh, basically. But the this is the patch browser up here, and you just scroll through, and uh, you can explore these while you've got the the sequencer going to see what it sounds like. It comes with a bunch of um, uh, preset uh, sequences, and you can just scroll through, and you can modify these and save them. Uh, something else or of course you can uh, start from scratch and uh, make your own let's just do that let's go to default and we'll use this as an opportunity to just check out the sequencer this is the pitch uh, sequencer here up the top with all the different uh, notes and the uh, scale and root key uh, here and um, uh, this is probably where most people would start and uh, write their melody and uh, play around and um, this increases and decreases the amount of steps. So um, yeah, you just go through, play around. There's a randomizer uh, button here that you you click, and it just randomizes it um, under the scale, and uh, you can play around with that and see what uh, crazy th tunes you can come up with. The next one is the velocity, so um, uh, you can muck around and uh, get different velocity uh, note velocities happening there. The next one is the uh, gate time, the length of the note, and uh, you can play around with that um, in a similar manner. Um, very easy to, to uh, very quickly play with. This is the performance indicator, octave, changes the octave, uh, pitch bend here, uh, chords here, um, also to um, uh, more sequences and um, randomizer and this is the modulation in here and there's a number of different modulations uh, you can uh, choose from so yeah it's really just a matter uh, and of course you can um, select a number of sequences that you can then program then into the pattern sequencer so to give you an example I'll try and find one up here that's already got uh, a bunch of um, pattern sequences you can just build them up a number of different patterns and and um, uh, put them into this uh, pattern sequencer down here. Alright, I'll just give you what I believe are the main uses of this um, great program and I, I don't have time unfortunately to go through in detail all of these but I'll just tell you um, so you can have a go and explore yourself. Uh, firstly, it's 
um, inspiring for melody and sound creation. So it's just good to just explore and create melodies and sounds, um, particularly as you can uh, pick a scale and a root key, you pretty much can't go wrong. Uh, it's also good for um, not only sequencing uh, a synth, but also a number of synths at the same time. Uh, it's great for sequencing virtual percussive instruments, so give that a go. You come up with some really interesting uh, uh, sounds and results there. Uh, there's also a, uh, a function to um, uh, p perform with it where you can use your MIDI controller to change the parameters uh, live while it's, while it's playing, uh, which is very rewarding. And also you get some good results too if you sequence a sampler. If you just load up a sampler with a, a bunch of uh, uh, sounds um, and you sequence them through uh, Thesis, you get some really interesting results. So uh, I recommend you give that a go. Okay, well let's just finish off um, uh, making a track uh, quickly. This is a quick start guide. I've just routed a thesis to two synths, one a synth sound and one the other percussive sound and I've added some kick drums there here to make just a uh, just a little riff and um, all you do to um, put the sequence down is press the record button and um, a thesis will lay uh, the sequence down in your track for you and then um, just press render and uh, select your file path and um, all the other parameters you, uh, you want for your um, yeah, final file and uh, then you're ready to go. So it's really that simple. Just to have a look at the what I ended up doing in in thesis. So I've laid down a bit of a riff here with the in the pitch area. Um, added a, some velocity and gate time parameters. I used the random selection uh, to do the uh, these performance and modulation uh, sequences. Uh, those last two there and. Um, uh, then just finally tweaked the velocities, so um, it was really that simple. So uh, yeah, have a listen, and it's fully highly recommended. So uh, have a go.